To be or not to be, that is the question beekeepers ask every winter. Battling a declining bee population and cold winters, keeping bees alive year round has become more and more difficult. But one area developer thinks he might have the solution. Belina Jones shares what all of the buzz is about. Winter can be a rough time for the bee population with dropping temperatures, but a new device is hoping to improve their odds of making it to spring, while at the same time giving beekeepers some peace of mind. And it's just, you know, I like honey. Over the last decade, Rich Morris has lost more than one beehive at the hands of cold Wisconsin winters. Winters are so variable between, you know, long and warm or, you know, long and cold. Um, it's not unusual to lose 30 percent of the bees in the state. To keep the queen bee happy and the rest of the population, Morris and his team of developers created Broodminder. And then you open up the lid of the hive, put it in, you see all the girls in there working away. The Bluetooth device measures the temperature and humidity inside the hive and sends the information to an app on your phone, keeping beekeepers out of the cold and bees as warm as possible. When it's like zero out, you really don't like looking in on them, which is the whole problem that uh, you open up the hive and, you know, it's cold and they don't like that and that's hard on them. If the temperatures are too low or the humidity is too high, the population begins to die. By tracking the environment, beekeepers know when to adjust or move the hive. And with the collapse of honeybee colonies, keeping bees buzzing through the winter is key. Bees, as we've heard over and over, you know, are really critical to pollinating a lot of different, uh, a lot of different crops and a lot of different uh, uh, orchards and those sorts of things. So, you know, bees are very important. In Stoughton, Valina Jones, WISC News 3. Now, Morris says to make his idea possible, he still needs some funding. He set up a crowdfunding site to raise $20,000. That money will be used to help fund the first 1,000 units. And you can uh, find a link up on our website, channel3000.com.